Well, you know, I, in helping her, when you try to help people, as, as I try to do, I need to understand all the aspects of what's going on in their world, mental, physical, emotional, and it, it came out really clear to me that he was simply using her. I mean, he was out dating nice other girls and then coming back and, you know, using her, and he would throw it in her face. And, you know, it came to a head one day when we were, uh, I was coincidentally in Las Vegas, and she called me just hysterical. They'd had a, had a fight. She was, he'd felt threatened by her. She needed to go somewhere. And I said, you know what? I'm in Las Vegas. I'm a couple hours away. Come, come to Las Vegas. And when she was there, I experienced him calling her, him cussing at her. They wouldn't let me say it on the witness stand. But when he cussed at her, she ducked, almost winced like she was ducking a bullet. So, and then after that, she went outside and well, Gus, why do you think Go she kept going back? You hear all of this abuse that she's describing to you, but she kept going back and kept going back. Why do you think she did that? Why do good girls hang out with bad guys? It's, if you want to get real primal about it, when a man and a woman make love to each other, a man releases a pheromone that women can become addicted to, and it goes back to primeval times. I think she was very much addicted to him. I mean, she was willing to change her religion. She was willing to do everything for him. And every time he would, she would try to break away, he would do something to bring her back. I He'd start that, talking nice to her, make promises. Let me ask you a question about the finger, the ring finger that we also dramatically held up in court. The broken, the crushed one? The, yes. Oh, by, by the way, orthopedically, by the way, that that's a, could have been a swan neck deformity. I have one right here. Yeah. You get that from pulling the finger. You get that from inflammation. You don't necessarily get that from, who knows? Right, right. So you knew her for a period of time. Had you seen this, you know, bent finger before? Had she ever told you what had happened? to that finger I had noticed it but she never discussed it. she she would actually tried to be pretty private about stuff but it was only through helping her and I mean I got the worst the day when she came to the motorhome and saw what was going on then that was towards the end of it all okay prior to that I knew she was having trouble with him I got to take a break but but Gus if it were as simple as pheromones every woman we attract would be addicted to every man and that simply does not happen <laughs> the fact you. is when people become enmeshed That's in these highly chaotic relationships it is acting out the the circumstances of their childhood and yes he came from a horrible situation she may maybe came from a horrible situation but even when people get in those situations they don't tend to end in murder